Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do an eclipse energy for you. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. This is just going to be what I pick up on, what my guides give me for a message, okay, for you, for this eclipse energy. So July 15th to July 30th, 31st, but keep in mind that the eclipse energy can carry on for months but anyway this is what I'm picking up for this eclipse for you it's intended the reading that I'm doing is is for the 15th to the 31st but you know take it for whatever it is Aries Sun Moon Rising and Venus we're gonna get one of these we're gonna get one of these and we're gonna get one of these and then we're gonna use this deck right here let's see what comes up let's see what comes up for Aries what can they expect to deal with during this eclipse what's gonna happen for Aries Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe, what is going to happen for Aries? Victory. Victory. This is it. I mean, this is victory. This is a completion. It's a 10. You see, 8 plus 2 is a 10. It's a completion. You could, you could, you could say that you have completed something successfully okay that this is the victory wreath okay so this is um, successfully completing something triumphant um, yeah so this is this is a victory you're about to get some sort of victory maybe even a reward of some sort um, now this is abundance okay extreme abundance all right um, what do we have for Aries? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe. Success. Wedding. The situation involves marriage. So you may be meeting a marriage partner. If you haven't met them already, you may be getting engaged. You may be, be just coming into contact with this person. You could be even, and I don't know where this is coming from, reuniting with somebody. Uh, yeah, I don't know. You could be completing a a cycle in a wedding. You could be getting a divorce. Okay, I'm just saying. It does involve a wedding. Whatever this eclipse is doing for you, it has to do with a marriage. Whether it's the completion of a marriage or the start of a relationship that leads to a marriage. Whatever this is, it has to do with... A marriage, a wedding, okay? This situation involves marriage. So you could be dealing with a new partner or reconciling with somebody or getting engaged or just meeting that partner. Maybe you're going to meet that person you're going to marry, you know? Um, it could also be the end of a marriage. I mean, I just got to be honest with you. What do we got for Aries? Ooh, self-sabotage. Capricorn got this as well. I'm going to go ahead and read it for you right now. I am going to read it for you right now because it's very, very important. Um, self-sabotage. This does have to do with partnership. See that two down there? It has to do with a union. Um... Become conscious of how your inner saboteur functions. You are about to sabotage a big opportunity. Now is the time to stop procrastinating and cease focusing your energy on why you are unworthy of wonderful, enriching experiences. When you connect to the saboteur arch archetype, you begin to recognize all the ways you pass up interesting opportunities and relationships which could make you grow, learn, evolve, and become fulfilled. The saboteur is terrified of change and guards your heart from that which is meaningful to you. See the demons? You're going to need to face your demons. You're going to need to face your fears to get this victory, to get this success. Whatever opportunity that you are scared of, it could lead to a lot of happiness. It could. It could lead to victory and success. It, okay. 
I'm going to start over. The saboteur is terrified of change and guards your heart from that which is meaningful to you with the misguided belief that if you don't try, you can't fail. It forgets that if you don't escape from your comfort zone, you cannot succeed and experience the love and joy with which would fulfill you. You have to face your fears and step outside of your comfort zone to get the victory and the success that you seek. There's an opportunity here for a partnership that could really be successful. But you have to let fear go. You have to let go of the demons. You have to stop sabotaging yourself from this opportunity. Let go of the fear of failure. Let go of the fear of non-acceptance. You will be accepted. Anyhow. Now let's get into it. What do we have for Aries? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe. What do we have for Aries? I think things are going to happen fast. Things are going to happen fast. Ooh, wow. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, the world card reversed. So this is, this is a lack of success. Uh, refusing to step over that finish line, unfinished business, lack of closure, a feeling of emptiness, needing more, wanting more, you know, I want more, I'm not happy, I'm incomplete, you know, um, there's something hidden, there's something hidden here, there's something below the surface, there's something you can't see, it's like there's something you don't know, you just can't see it yet, you can't see it, but it's gonna, it's coming, it is coming, um, there's pain, there's heartache, the three of swords, this is heartache, this is heart pain, okay? This is painful, painful. The hermit, this is going within, it's a time of introspection, it's a time of wisdom, it's a time of reflection. A time of enlightenment, seeing the light, see that big light? So, I feel as though we have somebody here that is about to see the light. in a situation maybe they have a new perspective now somebody has gained a lot of wisdom through suffering through introspection through reflection through you know the journey that they have been on has taught them a lot Somebody has been down a difficult road. They've been on a very difficult journey. But now they have received the enlightenment that they need to move forward. To face the pain. To face the uncertainty. The next step is to step over that line. The tower. Oh, jeez. So somebody, this is this is a, a cleansing, a purging. Somebody has been avoiding a life change, trying to avoid it, okay? Trying to avoid um, starting over, trying to avoid um, change, okay? And it's like this realignment, this, this restructuring has been needed for quite some time, but somebody's been trying to avoid it. Princess of Cups, Four of Swords. Now, this avoidance has caused exhaustion, mental exhaustion, to the point of near collapsing. Poor health, ill health, frustration. This, this un inability to complete this chapter, to complete this cycle, to complete this phase, is an inability to inability to let go of the false sense of security has caused somebody to get really frustrated and feel isolated and you know but this princess of cups this is an offer of love this is this is an, a welcome 
message messenger coming somebody could be coming to help somebody could be coming to help you you know release they could be help, coming to help you deal with this pain ten of swords this is this is this is suffering ten of swords we know what this is it's betrayal it's the end it's the end of suffering it's the end of pain Six of Cups. This is Six of Cups reverse. Somebody's been clinging on to the memories of the past, maybe for the children. Um, there's a lot of memories that somebody has been reminiscing over. There's a lot of nostalgia. Somebody's been clinging. They've been holding on to the past, holding on to probably some regrets, some pain of the past. Maybe for a child. There could be a child here that is causing you know somebody to hold on to a false sense of security holding on to a false foundation holding on to a troublesome situation but this ten of swords is it's over it's over the suffering is just the suffering and the pain is just about over this is help arriving this page of cups that's help that's somebody who is coming to help you don't see them yet because you see this this moon card this is unseen you don't see it yet this person might be somebody from your past. It could be somebody that you've known a long time ago. Somebody that is very loving. Somebody that is very caring. This person could be a little bit younger than you for four, four years maybe. Um, maybe even more. Um, this Knight of Pentacles. This is um, taking action. Finding the strength. Dominating the situation. Making a plan. Deciding to protect yourself, deciding to be practical, deciding to be responsible. We got somebody here that is finding the discipline to walk away from the painful, false sense of security that hasn't really brought them success. Okay. This guy is finding the discipline finding the strength, finding the, the ability within himself to face his fears. This guy is very strong. He's finding the strength to lead, to walk away from this. Look at the pain in the heart, stabbed right in the heart. This person's going to come out the victor for leaving this painful false sense of security behind. This is like coming into your power. This is really dominating the show. I'm going to protect myself. I'm going to do what's right for me. I'm going to face the past. This person is is making a practical decision to leave the heartache, the heart pain behind it's not stable it hasn't been stable it's about to collapse there is going to be a collapse here the false foundation the false structure is about to collapse you can't avoid it anymore this universe card reverse the world card reverse is a lack of closure there's a there's a something is incomplete there's unfinished business and hmm. Somebody has been unwilling to walk away because of the unfinished business. But there's there's too much stress. There's guilt. There's regrets. I mean, the Nine of Swords. There's loss of sleep. There's poor health. Somebody's health has been declining. They haven't been sleeping well. There's been a lot, a lot of depression that has made somebody feel empty inside. Prince of Swords reversed. There's there's probably, you know, this is the page of swords reversed. There's difficulty in communication. There could be there could be children. Okay, we have two couple children here. There could be children that are causing this person to there could be regrets over the children. Because of this, it could signify children as well. There's regrets over the children. Um there could be an unexpected conflict. There could be, you could be dealing with, with you, there could be an, ex, a, a, an unexpected conflict that causes some amount of stress. 
that finally causes the breakdown. It co finally co causes the the realignment. It co finally causes the upheaval that forces somebody to find their strength to leave this painful situation behind. Whatever it is. Somebody is, this is the end. The Ten of Swords is the end of betrayal. It's the end of pain. It's the end of suffering. See that? It's a stab. And somebody's, you know, it's, 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 it's the end. It is the end. And I feel like there's been a lot of discontent. There's been a lot of sadness that somebody has been, you know, wanting more. I want more. I, 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 they've been overanalyzing. They've been brooding, looking for more. There's been a lost opportunity. We have somebody here that feels at a loss because they may have neglected. Maybe they neglected some people. I don't know. This person has gained a lot of wisdom, though, through suffering. Like I said at the very beginning, this, this suffering has given somebody the wisdom that they need. Now this person has decided to go after to go after wish fulfillment. This is the nine of cups. So we have this wise individual who has done his observation, who has done his inner work, has become enlightened, and this person is now seeing the light and heading towards abundance. The nine of cups is abundance. It's a wish fulfilled. It's it's a dream come true. It's it's a, it's the opportunity to have it all. Extreme abundance. Uh, you may not be prepared for it. You may not have seen it coming. You may not be completely prepared for this abundance. You may not be prepared for what this is. You may think it's something that it's not. There has been a delay. There has been a delay. There's been a delay because somebody was going through a pe They needed to go through this period. They needed to gain their wisdom. They needed to take this time to reflect. They needed to take this time to heal. So to, to uh, you know deal with the conflict, maybe even their inner conflict. Um, this is dashed expectations, three of wands reversed. Okay, there's some dashed expectations here. Um, somebody probably has been wasting their time or they wasted their time and maybe that's why there's regrets. There could be regrets because somebody wasted their time you know, on lavish things because Nine of Cups is wanting to have it all. Maybe this person is seeing, you know, it's not about those things. It's about love. You know, this person could have been a glutton. This person could have been, had a big ego, the Nine of Cups. You know, I want to have it all. I, I want all the luxurious things. I do see regrets here. And I feel like we have somebody here that is regret, regretting choosing. I don't know where this is coming from. Um... Choosing the wrong things, put it that way. Um, Eight of Swords. But this is somebody that is removing an obstacle, getting ready to step out of that comfort zone. Um, stepping out of that comfort zone. So we have somebody that is about to face their fears. They've been holding on for too long. Holding on to a dead end. Okay? Holding on is getting old. It's like they don't want to hold on anymore. They don't want to hold on anymore. Princess of Wands giving up. This is not good news. This is not good news. There's no growth here. Um, things are going south. This is no. There's no more excitement. There's a lack of ambition. There's a lack of concentration. There's a lack of focus. Um, they may have been dealing with a person that is really not a good person. They could have been dealing with an, a selfish individual. Could have been a wife. Could have been a mother. Could be anybody. This woman isn't isn't a good mother. She She's not kind, she's not nurturing, she's selfish, she's smothering. Um, this woman is a negative Nelly. She doesn't have anything good to say, maybe about the children, because she's not a good mother. Um, holding on to this person. Somebody has been holding on. It could be mother issues. This could be the mother of the children, however it resonates with you. There is There's regrets over something to do with the children here or not having children if you don't have any children you know maybe there's there's it's time is running out and you're worried about not having any children I don't know where that's coming from there's an opportunity to have children here if you don't have any children because there's like three children here just saying um, this is a loss there is a loss here there's a loss um, 
There's no moving forward. This is a dead end. This is a dead end. Dead end, dead end, dead end. Somebody is at that crossroads where they have this opportunity to step over or stay here. What are you going to do? You're going to be presented with the choice. Do you want to stay or do you want to go? That's your option. Now the Five of Pentacles, this is seeing that there's a bigger, better opportunity. Five of Pentacles, reverse. This is beginning to realize, coming out of the darkness, seeing the light. So I think we have somebody here that is seeing things through a new perspective. And they're about to face their fears, face their insecurities, and, and head down a new path. I think we got somebody heading down a new path. I think there is somebody coming to help. Um, somebody, somebody, you know, it could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You got everybody here. You got every sign here, so it doesn't it doesn't really matter. I think that that there is somebody that is is coming to help you emotionally with the Page of Cups under there. You know, they're coming to support you. Um, <laughs> this is a loss of a partnership, so there could be a breakup. Okay, there there probably is some sort of breakup. But endings bring new beginnings. This release of this is going to bring you into something else. You may have, get the opportunity to work with somebody else pretty, pretty quickly. You know, somebody that you don't have to walk on eggshells. Somebody that you don't have to, you know, somebody that you don't have to fight with all the time. There's some, some, some sort of misjudgment. There's some sort of criticism here. I feel like you were dealing with somebody who criticized you a lot. And and I think that you're about to leave that behind. You're going to leave the criticism behind. And you're headed to a much happier place. Extreme happiness is coming. It is. It is. So Aries, I feel like there is something that is below the surface that is going to rear its head and it is going to push you to let go, to release something that you have been holding on to. It's a dead end, death reversed. It's a false sense of security. It's caused you a lot of stress. It's caused you a lot of pain, a lot of heartache, a lot of suffering. It's caused depression. It's caused, you know, you may have felt guilty. It's caused loss of sleep. It hasn't allowed you to, you know, feel complete. It's, 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 it's made you feel uh, really uncomfortable, okay? You've been feeling really uncomfortable because there's, it's just, this, this misalignment has, has really affected you. It's affected your equilibrium. It's affecting your sleep. It's affecting your health. It's affecting you in so many ways. And I feel like your health is going to improve so fast. It's like you're going to, it's almost like you're going to, you're going to vibrate on a whole nother level as soon as you release this dead end. So there's a, there's an opportunity. Please don't miss it. There probably is going to be a conflict. There's probably with that page of swords there in the seven of wands or whatever there's probably going to be some sort of conflict that is going to give you the opportunity to break free from this painful situation take this as your opportunity to be happy again release release Some of you are going to be connecting with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Some of you are going to be connecting with a Pisces. Pisces, you could be, that could be the dead end. It could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Cancer. Um, you have everybody here. It could be dealing with a Leo. Um, but whatever this is, there's a completion of a phase here that you have been trying to not allow. You Really, you have been not allowing it. Okay, and it's been causing you stress. It's been causing you a lot of stress, and you. But it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. This completion is gonna happen because this is the universe. These both of these cards, the universe says, 
that it's time. The universe says you can't hold on to this anymore. It's a dead end. Some of you won't like this, but it is what it is. And because you don't want to hear it, you don't want to, you know, you don't want to hear it. Who wants to hear that you got to release something? It takes strength. It takes di discipline. It takes, uh, you got to be responsible. You got to be practical. Only a wise individual accepts change. accepts that a loss is a victory. It really is. So anyway, I feel like you guys are probably about to take action that you are reluctant to take. But facing your demons is imminent. Good luck.